This incredible story took place on March 1, 1982. The Soviet automated probe Venera 13 entered the dense, toxic atmosphere of Venus, the harshest and most inhospitable planet in the solar system. The descent of Venera 13 to the surface of Venus was just as dramatic as the landing itself. The probe first slowed down in the dense atmospheric layers, then deployed a parachute to reduce speed and endure the heat and turbulence. The parachute helped the spacecraft land gently on the rocky surface, despite the violent winds and hostile conditions all around. Before Venera 13, humanity had tried multiple times to land probes on Venus. Many of them failed to survive the planet's unbearable environment. They crashed or shut down almost immediately after landing, perishing in the intense heat, pressure, and acidic storms that seemed insurmountable. But Venera 13 broke through the inferno and showed us the truth about our neighboring planet. Venera 13 was a true technological marvel of its time. Its body was reinforced with a special thermal and chemical shield to withstand Venus's extreme temperatures and aggressive atmosphere. It carried scientific instruments on board to measure temperature, pressure, and the chemical composition of the atmosphere and surface. All systems were designed to operate in conditions that would destroy most other spacecraft. Venera 13 discovered a dense layer of thick sulfuric acid clouds hanging over the planet, creating a furnace-like atmosphere where storms rage endlessly, and the environment is beyond extreme. Pushing through the acid storm and blazing carbon dioxide layers, Venera 13 landed in the Phoebe region, about 7.5 degrees south of the equator and nearly 300 degrees east, in the heart of a rocky, lava-scorched wasteland where no other Earth-made probe could survive, except this one. When Venera 13 touched down, silence fell on Earth. Everyone was stunned. Scientists and engineers couldn't believe their eyes and ears. It was the first time a probe had withstood Venus's extreme conditions and successfully transmitted data. That moment became a true triumph of human ingenuity and courage. After landing, Venera 13 continued to operate on Venus's surface for nearly an hour and a half, a record given the brutal conditions. During this time, it conducted a series of crucial experiments, measuring temperature, pressure, atmospheric and surface chemistry, and sending back rare images of the rocky lava plains. Every second of its work was a feat of engineering, as most Earth probes had previously failed in minutes. Surface temperatures on Venus reach nearly 500 degrees Celsius, enough to melt lead. The planet's perpetual thick clouds and dense atmosphere create an extreme greenhouse effect, trapping heat and generating never-ending storms and acid rains. For Venera 13, this was a true ordeal, but the probe endured and sent us rare weather data from this living hell. The weather on Venus is a nightmare you can't escape. Hurricanes blow at speeds over 300 kilometers per hour, never stopping for a second, the sky is forever hidden behind thick acidic clouds, and the sun is barely visible from the surface. The unstable atmosphere churns and spins faster than the planet itself, creating continuous vortices, lightning storms, and terrifying air currents. Venera 13 also discovered that Venus's surface is scattered with numerous volcanoes and lava fields. These massive volcanic formations point to ongoing geological activity on Venus, which remains a mystery to scientists. The scorched plains and frozen lava flows reveal a planet shaped by colossal eruptions and unpredictable terrain. Deep depressions and massive rifts stretch across Venus's surface, formed by tectonic activity within its crust. These structures resemble Earth's rift zones and fault lines, but were shaped under much higher heat and pressure, affecting their scale and form. Venus's tectonics manifest through the stretching and compressing of its crust, creating cracks, mountain ridges, and valleys, a unique landscape that, while alien, still echoes familiar geological patterns. After successfully completing its mission, Venera 13 continued transmitting data until its systems were eventually destroyed by Venus's extreme heat and pressure. Despite this, its record-setting performance lasted nearly 90 minutes, a remarkable achievement in space exploration for its time. The most important discovery made by Venera 13 was the complete absence of water or any signs of life beneath Venus's thick yellow clouds. The planet's harsh conditions, extreme temperatures, pressure, and corrosive atmosphere make it completely uninhabitable for any known life forms. This revelation highlighted just how unique and precious Earth truly is among the planets of our solar system. 
Further exploration of Venus is essential for understanding climate and geological processes that may affect other planets, including Earth. These studies help scientists examine the mechanics behind the greenhouse effect and atmospheric changes, especially relevant during today's climate crisis. Venus remains a key object of study for planetary formation, evolution, and preparation for future human missions into deep space. Studying Venus helps scientists determine what conditions render a planet uninhabitable, which is vital in the search for life beyond our solar system. Analyzing Venus's atmosphere and surface offers a baseline for evaluating the habitability of exoplanets, especially those in the so-called Goldilocks zone of their stars. This helps narrow the search to planets more favorable to life as we know it. The story of Venera 13 inspires us to face challenges and keep moving forward no matter what. Every new step in space exploration brings humanity closer to unraveling the mysteries of the universe and opens new frontiers for generations to come. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe, leave a like, and click the bell. It helps us create even more amazing content. See you in the next discovery.